So most of you who've been to these events before or have seen me on stage before typically know that I always introduce this with some type of story. I've always got some kind of little special thing that breaks the ice, hopefully, uh, and it's kind of funny, hopefully, and if it isn't, then I'm sure you'll tell me about it afterwards. So the first thing I'd like to ask all of you to do this morning, because I want to thank you for joining so early, registration opened at 6.30 this morning, and in the spirit of our first speaker this morning, uh, who is going, the author of The Mesh, I'd like to ask everyone, everyone, to stand up for just one moment. Everybody, please stand. I'm not asking you to shake hands with anybody, so don't worry about that. Okay? Now, here's what I need you to do. I need everyone to raise your hands almost like you're at a concert. Can everybody do that for me? All right, hang on. Okay, that's cool. Thanks so much. You can have a seat now. So, how many of you have mothers? Yeah, good one, like that. So, several years ago, uh, my wife and I, when you go visit your mother and you got children, your, your mother always asks for what? Pictures. How many of you actually take pictures and print them out today? Very few of you, and the ones that you do print out are the ones that you put into a frame. So we tried to get my mother on a computer. She lives uh, down in Columbus, Georgia, which is a two or three hours south of here. And we tried to get her on a computer several years ago. In all honesty, it's very difficult booting it up and getting her on the internet. And I came, uh, became a tech support line for her, and it was really painful. I mean, there were times when I was in meetings when I would get a phone call and I would step out thinking it was my mom. I'm thinking somebody, you know, is in trouble. Somebody was in an accident. And what it was was she was like, this mouse thing is not working right. So what my wife and I did a couple years ago was we expanded, expanded our family plan, okay? And we put my mom on a smartphone. So now what I do is I text my mom pictures. And my mom is also now on Facebook. Uh, and I have, I, I don't, I, my family's not FB fanatics, but they're pretty close to it. I have an 11-year-old son. I have a daughter who's in high school. And so what you just did was help me out today because my mom knew that I was going to be doing this event. She saw the brochure, and of course, she's proud of her son. So I just proved to her that I was actually standing in front of a 1,000 people because I just texted her that brief video clip, and it will absolutely make her day. I'm certain this summer when I go down for the Southern Family Reunion, everybody will be astounded by the fact that I was standing on stage in front of so many people who were cheering me on. So I want to thank you for doing that this morning. And for those of you who are my friend on Facebook, I'll also post it out there. Uh, just to prove to all those people I went to high school with that I actually do have a job and can wear a tie. So, the uh, introduction this morning uh, around our first speaker is the author of a book called The Mesh. And I was actually looking through the book last night, had an opportunity to speak with her at last night's event. But yesterday, it, it combined with a meeting that I was in yesterday. I, I was in a meeting yesterday with a group talking about content actually a very brilliant lady in the in the meeting uh, she had all kinds of new acronyms for me from a technology perspective but she was really into social media uh, and design and content design and tagging and search and as I read through the book last night and I thought the, thought about the meeting I had yesterday I recognized that the single source of the frustration that my wife and I have with our children is purely to blame on Google it's purely to blame on the power of search today. Now, I know you all, most of you, remember before the computer was invented, and most of you in this room probably remember before Google existed. But I want you to think about it for a moment. My wife and I have become Google for our children. When I went to school, you had to write a book report. You were lucky if your mom and dad had enough green stamps to purchase A through Z in the encyclopedias from the local grocery store who was having the program. I got about A through L, so I never did a book report beyond L. Now, today, everything is instantaneous. Everything is connected, and our children know the power of search. We ask one question, we ask one thing, we see one idea, and it's immediately Googled, and they have an immediate response. So what I recognized last night in going through the book, as well as thinking about the meeting yesterday, is Google is to blame for my children. And the reason why? Their underwear are not tagged and they're not searchable. Their clean clothes are not tagged and they're not searchable. 
their baseball uniform, their book bag are not tagged and they're not searchable. So my wife and I have become that search engine for them. As I tried to explain this to my wife last night in bed as I was reading the book, she did exactly what I thought she would do. She rolled over and she went to sleep. So with that, I'd like to thank everyone, I have everyone thank and recognize uh, the author of the message this morning and welcome her to the stage.